to a double until I get all the way down his far leg or far knee. You guys did this this morning. You did a head outside single. You went to a second cross. We didn't go here until we circled back and all the way here. Then we stepped across and drive, right? Same thing here on the rotate double. I'm not going to shift. I'm not going to a double from here. All right, I want to get all the weight here first. I get that angle, then I shift. Make sure I get all the weight there. Notice my weight is driving that across his hips. I have the weight on his far knee, then I make that shift. Keep positive control of his right leg. Get the angle, then finish across. Don't try to finish across from here when I don't have any pressure across. I need to get pressure across first. I do that with my rotation. Now I have pressure across his hips. Now I can switch to my double. All right? Get this angle, then we go to the double. We get this angle, it's going to be an easy finish. You try to muscle him across with the double leg, you're not going to do it. All right? You don't have the position. Big step with that trail leg also. You guys got to winch your for this more. This is where my direction change comes in. Uh, math class. I give this analogy all the time. Math class, you guys have a thing called a compass. Pointy end, pencil end, right? I always just stab holes in my desk or my friend, all right? This is that pointy end. This does not move, all right? A couple guys are doing this. They go for their rotation, they hit their hip. Even if I get him to his far knee, I can't finish from here. I'm out of position. I gotta make sure this stays planted in the mat. I step up, I windshield wiper, my right foot, I rotate. I should be able to go in a complete circle without ever lifting my right knee. We're just doing one motion to there. Direction change, level change, get the pressure across. Let's do it again. One, two, three.